Hello everybody, it's Basic Sorgonomics, and today uh, I thought I'd get into a little bit of a practice we've been doing. Uh, I've been doing a lot of work, of course, with one of my clients out here, to, out there, out there, at Export PA, uh, Seclair. Um, you'll probably see me tweeting on Mondays, we do something called the Educational Grand Round, so we've done you know, a lot of it with uh, Google Hangout, um, actually as if they're, we're not doing anything fancy, uh, we're actually recording it locally since we've got a new computer for them to work with out there. Really kind of build it in so, you know, it's they're they're kind of developing their own mini studio setup like I can come down and just do things down here in my own studio here in in, in Pittsburgh. Um, which is in my house, which is in my basement. So I'm kind of Wayne's worlding it here. Um but but no, wanted a kind of a similar thing. Got them a webcam, got them a nice say uh, nice microphone, uh, upgraded their computer, their network's really good, so they're able to do a lot of the Google Hangout stuff and really kind of do something from there. Uh, part of that's a weekly thing where they talk about uh, subjects pertaining to their practice, you know, uh, about mindfulness, behavioral therapy, and, and 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 where that goes. And even this past week, um, you know, we got to do, try to get stay a little topical. We talked about the passing of Leonard Nimoy, and kind of the character of Spock and and uh, what that kind of meant uh, go check that out it's over at seclair.com if you want to see that um and uh in the blog we have it listed on there and their youtube as well but i want to talk about something i'm doing with the, uh, kind of developed this, this this idea with them you know again i'm looking at google hangout like so much that i do here in the studio with that i have several computers to to kind of swap out to uh for these concepts we're kind of trying to do there um, we're, of course, using it to bring in guests that can't make it all the way out to Export PA. I mean, we've had, we had, uh, one, one guest that's up in New England, uh, talking about spirituality with us. And, uh, and, and another side of it is, um, actually using it as sort of a switcher studio kind of setup. Now, sometimes they have, want to do presentation webinar kind of things, right? And, you know, we could just record it and they're going through the slides and I figure out afterwards and edit it and put the slides in. But uh, it's one of those deals where I'm kind of hampered by only really having a day to work out there due to constraints. And that's why that's what my contract is. So I really can't add a, a lot of extra editing on top of things as I'm trying to manage their social media and their, and that the video thing they do every week and any other uh, the newsletter now as, uh, uh, as well. Uh, so we have to kind of do as much as we can to streamline it um, and can't really expand out, out uh, more beyond that uh, in a lot of ways. So uh, what I ended up doing was taking Hangouts. So it was really nice. So we got the, we got the video going uh, with their Hangouts and uh, uh, which which looks a lot nicer since we've upgraded the computer and everything. I, I still have to work with it a little bit. I think we got a little bit of a washed out kind of look going on here. Um, you can see a, a Jim here, who's a, one of the great great counselors there at Seclair. But uh, we also have a a second computer, and to the point where I'm actually giving them the computer to control. So they're they're flipping through the slides themselves um, as they go through, and what I'm doing is bringing in. My own account for, I know this gets a little weird, probably. Uh, I, I'm bringing in my own account and, and pretty much just calling myself on a laptop. And we're bringing up the slideshows, in uh, in this case, Keynote, but it can be PowerPoint, whatever. Um, and then I'm sitting there uh, on the main computer that's doing the Hangout on Air. And as you click the bottom between the two, the, the the guests in there, you're actually switching the shots. So you're actually kind of creating a little bit of a switcher system to go with this. And whatever you see on that recorder is what you're gonna get in that final video. Um, we've done this a few times and we've kind of uh, over, over the time kind of, uh, you know, you know, really kind of, I don't say perfected this, but, uh, you know, uh, really kind of, you know, got a better, because we, we, we've tried things where, where they're going through their slides and then I'm flipping through independently and trying to switch. And it just, you know, I, my, my attention is going too too many ways as well as, you know, attempting to make sure that we have, you know, uh, you know, make sure the quality is good and the audio is good and everything. So, um, it, and those slides work out really nice. Even if you're in a kind of bandwidth iffy situation for a while, since we had a kind of an older computer, the video itself actually wasn't very good uh, the, at all. So it was kind of nice to have the slides that were so still that it didn't matter what the bandwidth or anything was because it, it they come through pretty cleanly. Um, 
and that that's that that's kind of nice to kind of cover up the fact that maybe maybe your hangout video isn't so good, isn't so clean, right? Um, but uh, it's worked out really well. It's really streamlined things, and uh, I actually did a couple pictures. If you if you're on my Snapchat, I did a little bit of some some video kind of of what's going on. I think I put my Instagram as well. Actually, let's double check check that. Um, but uh, this is one of those ways where you can kind of go outside the box with something like Google Hangout. Um, and and as, as I say, we, you know, we do a lot around here with, um, you know, the guys doing their own shows like it, they don't need me here in the studio to initiate a recording. Um, I mean, it's a different quality. We don't have at least one webcam that's a, a really, really good quality like this um, that's recording locally. We don't have all the graphics and the, all the bells and whistles so much. It's very, it's a very trimmed down process. But again, that's something they're getting it together. They're getting content together um, in a very serviceable way with Google Hangout. And, and we're talking about people that live here in Pittsburgh. Uh, that don't necessarily have to track in the incredibly bad weather we have going on here. Um, and, and friends in Johnstown, friends in New York, friends in uh, San Antonio, El Paso, uh, you know, California getting involved. You know, it's re really decentralized, this whole situation. I wish the quality was a little better. And it is just a lot of talking head stuff. But that's really kind of all we're doing here. Um but uh, and they do have tools like the screen sharing, if need be, that they can bring up stuff like I'm doing, like I'm using in this case with the slides. Um, and I think there's a lot of things outside of the box you can still use Google Hangouts for. And maybe even more exciting now that maybe they're going to break out Google Hangouts from the rest of Google Plus, because that experience has been um, really tough to get people on board with. Um, it's been very confusing, and it seems like there's several ways to get into Hangout, and not the same way it works every time. You know, I went to call you know uh, our, our guest uh, for Awesome Cast on Tuesday night, and he's like, "Yeah, I haven't seen anything." I'm like, oh, "Okay, try this link." You know, um, it, it it doesn't seem to work across the board the way it should, and but it's still a great service if you do get it over that hump. Even look at things like, you know, they did shut down help outs. Help outs were a way for them to kind of monetize and list you if you were saying, I want to teach you about podcasting for, I don't know, so much an hour. It was a great system for that, and they handled everything. But honestly, you can still do that, have a private hangout with somebody, and charge them over PayPal. Um, somebody I was working with a couple of years ago was doing this with yoga and Skype. Basically, they set up a PayPal on there. They paid the PayPal, scheduled the time, did a Skype call. You're good to go. And honestly, I, I, I feel like I, I, people know Skype, but I feel like Hangout might be a little bit easier to get into because it is just installing a plugin and it's just in your browser. You're not installing a whole other application. I guess Skype's included on a lot of Microsoft computers now anyway, since I bought them. But still, you know, uh, I don't know. That's my preference, you know, um, and you could do it either way. And the nice thing is it's a lot easier to do. Maybe you're doing a webinar and. Maybe you're charging a pretty pretty okay sum, but you know you want to bring several people in. I think Hangouts is a perfect way to do that and converse. And I think the uh, it's perfect for meetings uh, as well. And we've used that several times, especially with planning with something like PodCamp Pittsburgh. Uh, in, in lieu of going out to a restaurant and spending money, you know, just to get face to face, um, you know, if that's not plausible with everybody's schedules, it's like okay, let's just do a hangout. You know, I, uh, often if it's somebody that I think is you know, uh, definitely knows what a hangout is to begin with. I'm like, you know, hey, we should do coffee. You know, okay, schedule, schedule, schedule. Hey, you just want to do a hangout this afternoon? And it works out really, really well. So so that's what's going on lately with hangouts on air. It's really changed a lot of things that I do around here. And 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 so much is really kind of dependent on it. You know, uh, so many events that are coming up and somebody's like, you know, why don't we just uh, go ahead and throw it up on hangout on air? Then we have it recorded and streaming and stuff. I'm like, well, yeah, sure. You know, um, it, it, it is something that you can easily just do, you know, without a lot of pre-setup. And, uh, you know, as long as you get the hardware and the bandwidth for it, um, you know, at least get it done. You know, uh, I think it's, it's very, very plausible for that. Let me know what you think. Are you using Google Hangout in interesting ways? I know some of you guys doing some video shows with it, uh, which is really cool to see. Um, and, uh, and yeah, until next time, this is Basic Sorgonomics. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.